Hey guys, Ben here from Griffiths Guns and Ammo. I apologise in advance for this video. I am not an outgoing type of a person, so I'm right out of my comfort zone with this. Tonight, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a product review on the OWL NVN7. So that's not focusing very well on the box. It's just going to be an unboxing and review. So, there's the OWL NVN7, which is a rear clip-on night vision unit to clip onto the back of your day scope. That's the unit itself. Quite nice little compact unit. I think it's important to say, point out that I have purchased this myself and so I can say whatever I like in this um, in this review. There's the box, comes with a bag which I've just opened. Also comes with two Allen keys, two O-rings, uh, a roll of tape and a charger cord which is a Type C. Also comes with a use manual and no doubt instructions. I'll sit this box over here out of the way. Now, have a look, having a look at this adapter, I've got two Allen key bolts there that slips over your rear eyepiece of your scope. Now, I'll bring a rifle into the equation. This rifle obviously has no bolt in it, thus it's unloaded and it's safe. So, this adapter is a loose fit over your rear eyepiece. So you then take a shim, or we'll start with the smallest one, just to see about how big it needs. You know what? In actual fact, I think that's going to be enough to tighten up. I think that will be. I think we're in business already. All right, let's get this Allen key. I will go over some specification, some of the specifications about the unit in a minute. I'm just going to do this, put together, unboxing and put together review as a start. In actual fact, the Allen VN7, being a rear clip-on unit, is does not need to be zeroed in because it is essentially just a night vision camera looking through your standard day scope. So you're used, using your standard reticle of your scope, which has already been sighted in, to then shoot. So for that, it's a good little thing, or should be rather. The retail value on these L and 7s that currently sit at $800. So as an entry level, um, unit which is uh, which boasts that it can push out to 300 meters on the stock IR infrared lights it and go from one unit to the next go from one roll to the next I think that sounds like pretty good value we'll find out so they there you are, you see just how quickly I can go on and off shooting. Once I've got that bolted on there, I just find the keyway. There's a keyway on the front of the on the front of the unit and on the eyepiece adapter, twist in, locks in. Ready to go shooting. Now there's a button on this back side on my side. Which enables you just there. Apologise about the unfocusedness, which allows you to unlock it. There is this side dial here, which is allows you to focus so that you can actually focus it and look through it without it being on the scope, or focus it when it's on the scope. You've got two infrared torches, which are both focusable. 
for extra distance. One is 850 and the other is a 940. You've also got a laser pointer in the center. You have in the front here a thread on cap with an 18650 rechargeable battery. Now L and V L say that they have a six hour runtime on the battery. Or oh, may or may not find that out in the field view, which I hopefully will be able to get some on camera footage to put up in this video. Now on camera obviously it has video recording as still pictures. You got your menu, you got your laser and zoom in, zoom out, your OK and your infrared lights to turn off and turn up uh, turn up the brightness as you wish. There's also a day mode and a night mode so you can still use this in colour in full HD on your day scope to record your shooting and then still obviously switch over to night mode which is black and white and then use it on night vision. Got a nice little water sealed rubber port there with a few USB ports and a SD card. I shouldn't say SD card, I should say SD card port. Micro SD card port rather. Alright guys, this is on a scope with parallax of night, there's no moonlight, I cannot see very much at all. It's day mode, it's night mode without any infrared torch, I do have a light on behind me which is amplifying the light that you can see. That's infrared torch, setting one, setting two, setting three. And push that light out. I think so I've got a nice bit of a picture. That container down there is at 400 meters. Now they have a rating of three of good out to 300 meters on this Allen VN7. Yeah, you can see that there's a wallaby there hopping along through the grass. I to see there's a couple wallabies out there in the paddock past 400 meters so I those wallabies wouldn't be any bigger than a foot than 12 inches than a ruler. So I say it's out doing the rating of 300 meters quite well. Clarity's good. I don't know what this is going to be like when it goes onto the computer, but I can see them quite clearly. Those wattles over there that I can see them got the crosshairs on would be about 500 meters, I would say. So it's doing its job quite nicely. There's one, two, three wallabies there. Another wallaby just there by the bush, by that tree. Another one. So there's a couple of wallabies out tonight, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it must be a big guru or a wombat. Diesel tank there. Now, an important thing that to note with night vision in general, you can see clearly out when there's when it's open. As soon as you have a bit of obstruction in the way, like a fence, it becomes it bounces that light off the object and becomes very hard to see past it. Now that is just not oh there's a wallaby right there. That is just a night vision thing in general. You'll find all night visions. Do I like that? It's just a, that's just what they're like. 
because they amplify light, that's what they do. Couple, oh, I'm not sure if you can see, but I can just make out a couple of eyes out in the paddock there. Probably, oh look, it's hard to, it's very, very hard to say. But because I know the place, I'm going to just take a stab and say they're about 700 metres. I reckon they might be deer because I don't have any cattle in that paddock at the time being. They only just ain't the eyes. I can't see them anymore now. I could be dead wrong. But anyway. Where is that container? There it is. So that's 400 metres. That drum there is a 44 gallon drum. There's another 44 gallon drum laying down. And there's a couple wallabies there. One there, one there. Oh, a couple others have joined his mate. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, past the 400 metre mark. So it's quite a nice little unit, I think. There's a one back there. Another wallaby. Another wallaby there. A little bit of wildlife out tonight. That's good.